Essay 88, The Predatory Stalker. Stalking is a method well known to be used by some of the extreme fringe of conservative physics. It comes from a resentment of new ideas that overthrow familiar dogma. In my opinion, these stalkers fall into two of the five types identified by Mullen in 1993, resentful and revengeful. The resentful stalker or troll desires revenge for ECE theory, tries to destroy well-known geometry, tries to destroy the victim's career and reputation using pathological lying, itself a disorder. To the outside world, this is a bizarre... Uh, this is bizarre. Mark Chapman, for example, was a resentful stalker who shot John Lennon on December the 8th, 1980, because of resentment at Lennon preaching peace and at the same time having millions. This makes uh, no sense at all, but to the stalker is an obsession. The predatory stalker or troll suffers from a grandiose delusion and suffers from a delusory disorder. The predatory stalker craves power and control to such an extent that his whole being is focused on the victim. The stalker finds pleasure in finding scraps of information and fantasizes about assaulting the victim, the victim physically. This type of stalker often forms networks of mutual support from similarly disturbed individuals. The stalker is a vulnerable, distressed individual with an underlying mental disorder. This revengeful and predatory type is easily recognisable by the AIAS group from years of experience. These types are potentially dangerous. The British Government's Stalking Advice Unit recommends prompt action to find them. Lamba Royakas defines stalking as a form of mental assault in which the stalker repeatedly, unwantedly and disruptively breaks into the life world of the victim with which they had uh, no prior relationship. Uh, trial sites uh, work in this way. Um, they fantasize about having an influence on real science. This type is again familiar to AIS. They appear out of the blue and may stalk for years until they are either caught or just as suddenly disappear. The fringe physics stalker often suffers from grandiose delusion, most intelligent person ever and so on. They harass with quasi-religious persistence and force, thinking themselves godlike and invulnerable defenders of the faith or dogma, so they do not argue rationally. They are in fact incapable of understanding the technical material they harass. This is easily seen through by any real scientist. To a layman, anyone who attacks geometry is crazy. Energy from space-time is seen as impossible, despite the fact that there are thousands of papers on it and many working devices. So they distort it as impossible energy from nothing, or perpetuum mo mobile, and viciously smear the pioneering scientist as a quack. <clears throat> Similarly for Lerner, or anything that they do not understand. They have a fixed idea, or uh, idée fixe, to which they cling with tenacity. So all working devices must be destroyed by violence of words, and in the worst cases, real violence, uh, such as the uh, smashing up of uh, spinning jennies. Again, AIAS has plenty of experience of this type, the extreme violence of language, often using websites and email, and extreme distortion. They will attack anyone associated with the victim. victim. <coughs> One of them described himself as the living Roman Emperor of Britain, 
of the world's greatest philosopher. In reality, he turned out to have no education and a string of failed companies. Within the delusional psyche, the stalker can often construct what appears to be logical, but which on close inspection falls apart. For example, they might wish to deconstruct the Pythagoras theorem if the latter were perceived as having anything to do with the victim's thought. ECE thought is based on irrefutable geometry. They often deconstruct the victim's writings as they so charmingly uh, describe in a display of a violent triumphalism. The violence extends to trying repeatedly to destroy the victim's career and in the psy psychotic stages to destroy the victim's honours and awards and de degrees and even the victim's name. The victim cannot and must not exist and must not have done any good work. Grandiose delusion is statistically correlated with the manic stage of bipolar disorder and with paranoid schizophrenia. Gradually, this type of stalker loses touch with reality and the outside world, being locked in with his computer and his victim and his crazy pals. In the last stages of the disorder, it becomes psychotic, so the stalker refuses to believe in the existence of actual devices such as Lena or space-time devices, which he sees as manifestations of the devil. This type of stalker is obviously dangerous, as the many murders by trolls show. The most famous one being that of John Lennon, so prompt action is advocated by the British government's, government's stalking advice unit uh, to all police units. We know from uh, feedback that the uh, stalkers who uh, have been um, following us on AIAS uh, have had uh, no effect at all. The uh, Wikipedia entry on ECE and on my career was such a crazy distortion that uh, there was a revolt uh, among decent uh, scientists and it was removed. We know that uh, Virtually no one reads the Wikipedia site anymore.